<laughs> I'll take it. Well, I'll tell you what, we're uh, gearing up for uh, more of a roller coaster ride with our temperatures we've had at times over the last couple weeks. In fact, you can see over the last several days we had quite a ride. Last Monday it was in the low 70s. We dropped into the upper 40s middle last week with those storms. Yesterday we warmed up to 62, which put us pretty close to our average high temperature of 64. Uh, we could actually hit that today before we start to cool off again. And as chilly as it might be for you when you head out the door, a lot of these readings are higher than they were 24 hours ago. It's 47 degrees in Salt Lake City, but below freezing in Evanston, where it's 31. It's 41 in Delta and Hanksville. 56 in St. George, so most of you need a decent jacket when you head out the door. And an umbrella, not a bad idea in the far south. We've got a few showers coming down as the weather system slides through. A lot of it's tapering off, but most of those are still going over Kane County, drifting off to the east. And uh, shortly after sunrise, it looks like a lot of those will be tapering off. But still, behind that little storm, uh, you're going to have some wet roads to deal with. That's round one of our precipitation. The next round will be a storm uh, that's in the Pacific Northwest this morning. It'll send a cold front into Utah this evening, slide across the state, and usher in more cold, wet weather. But at ahead of it, we'll get a breeze out of the south, and that'll help our temperature in Salt Lake climb up to 65. Now, we'll start out partly cloudy, so it's going to be a very mild morning across much of the state. But then heading into the afternoon, we'll have that chance of the uh, showers and thunderstorms developing in the north, so you might have some wet weather to deal with on the way home this evening. We'll start to get some snow in the mountains. In the south, it'll be mostly sunny, and in St. George, you'll make it up to uh, the low 80s. You'll drop into the low 70s tomorrow behind what's left of the uh, cold fronts. Not expecting precipitation in the south, but besides the drop in temperature, the canyon winds could get a little gusty through tomorrow morning. High pressure builds on Wednesday. So we're going to have some sunshine to finish out the week with a big warm up. In fact, temperature will climb all the way into the upper 80s on Thursday and Friday and up into the low to mid 90s over the weekend. And in northern Utah, well, we're going to see that rain change to uh, rain snow mix overnight, but with no accumulation expected on the valley floor other than maybe on grassy surfaces. But we could get several inches of snow up in the mountains. And while the showers will taper off middle of the day tomorrow, it gets a lot colder behind that storm. We'll only make it into the mid 50s tomorrow. Luckily that high pressure builds on Wednesday. It'll be sunny to finish out the week and the temperature is going to climb pretty quickly. In fact, all the way up near 70 by Thursday and Friday and into the upper 70s by this coming Sunday.